Hello everybody, I am going to show you how to make a freemium with your pre printables that they have to provide you with their email address before receiving them. Um, now this is for the family safety binder and I'm going to show you my form and email. Um, this is assuming that you already have Document Studio downloaded to your Google, so Google add-on. If you do not, I'm going to make a separate video for that. Um, this is simply how to set up the form to get the printables auto-emailed out. Um, now, you can see I already set up my form for the free family safety binder. I put a brief description in at the beginning, and I also told them a little bit of what to expect, that they're going to fill out this form and that they'll receive their download in about one minute. I also put, um, please note, these printables are for personal use only. Do not forward them, sell them, or replicate them in any way. Printing for your family is awesome. Selling on Etsy will get you on the naughty list and adding your business logo to them is bad form. Um, so just so there's a little bit of further clarifications that these are for personal use only. Now I only ask for their name and it's not a required question just in case they don't want to give me that. And then their email address is required. Um, and that's because if we don't get their email address, they're not going to be able to be forwarded out. I also put my disclaimer in here that my printables will be sent via email. You, we will never share their email address or personal info. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're not a current Macaroni Kid York subscriber, this email address will be added to the free Macaroni Kid York newsletter. So they know that I am going to subscribe them. Then after you make your very basic form, you want to go to your gear in the top right corner that is for settings. And you're probably used to this for when you set up your contest, but you want to go to the general tab and this will be check marked. I don't know why they do that, but um, you want to uncheck that so that way that anybody can fill out this form and it's not just limited to macaroni kit email addresses. And then you'll want to head over to the presentation tab here at the top, so general and then presentation. Um, I always leave the show link to submit another response, so that way if they're like, oh, my goodness, I put my email address in wrong, or oh, I should send this to my mom too, or whoever they want to fill it out for, it's easier for them just to get right back into the form. Um, so I always leave it there just in case, uh, but you that's up to you whether you want to keep that checked or not. Then for the confirmation message, I always give them a little bit further uh, clarifications just in case they didn't read the form the first time because who actually reads that information? And I'm not sure they read the confirmation message either, but just in case, it says thank you, your printables will be sent to the email address that you provided and they will be coming from newcomer at macaronikid.com. So that way they know what email address they'll be coming from and if they do not receive them in a minute, they can search my email address to see if they received anything from me and then they can also have an email address for contact in case they never receive it at all. Um, so I put that in my confirmation message. Now if what in this video after I go through the steps of creating this form if you decide wow that is a lot of steps and I do not have time for all that or that is way above my technical know-how you could also make this confirmation hey thank you for um, signing up for our printables and our newsletter, here is the link to the download. So you could also put the download link here um, for the printables. You could add it here so it's in the confirmation screen. Uh, but I like it to be emailed out to them. And I think the benefit is, of that is they're used to seeing my name in their email box. They're going to whitelist my email so it comes into their main email box. Um, and then their email provider will see that they already opened an email from me and that they trust me. So that's why I have it email out and it's really just a few steps just to get them all me, um, just a few steps on our end to get them to be emailed out to them. So then I hit save and then the next thing you want to do is go to responses. Now there's already three responses and they're all from me for testing out the form. Um, but you'll go to responses and then you're going to click this little green um, box here which always looks like a green Swiss flag to me. Um, and this will open up the full spreadsheet in Google Drive. 
And this is where your responses will be stored. Uh, you can notice that I already filled mine out several times and it's been emailed out to me twice because I always give my form a test drive to make sure it's working. Um, now up here is you'll click on add-ons and this is how we're going to get it to email out to them automatically. And it, this is assuming you already have Document Studio downloaded and um, if you do not have that add-on downloaded I'm gonna make a separate video of how to do it if you did a Santa letter previously or any kind of pre uh, printable that was emailed out to them automatically you already have document studio um, <clears throat> but if not I will be posting the second video so you'll go to document studio and then open and then on the right hand side it's gonna bring up a little box here for document studio uh, now, if you remember, this was very complicated for the Santa letter and you had to go in and do your markers and all that. Well, you don't have to do that with this type of form because we're not customizing these printables. We're just automatically emailing them out. So don't worry about anything here. You want to go to um, scroll down just a little bit, go to Mail Merge and Google Forms. Um, and this will be checked off when you come in and you're going to check it to yes or toggle it to yes so it automatically comes up. Now, um, that box won't automatically pop up. You'll have to go to use a visual editor and click edit. And this will pop up for you and it will be completely blank. Now the things that you have to change are in this form here or in this box here it will say send email to. And this comes directly from your Google form that they fill, filled out. So it's going to have any um, responses that you'll be able to select and sometimes I accidentally click name but that's not an email address so it's gonna fail you wanna make sure you get the email address field so it sends it to their actual email address then you can do the sender's full name if you remember with the Santa letters we put in like Santa Claus and stuff like that I no longer do that because a couple people told me that all of my emails were coming through as Santa Claus and I think because like Google and Gmail and different um, mail uh, companies, email companies, they um, hold on to that information and they store it. So I now do it as my full name and that's how my newsletters come out as Jessica Newcomer. So they get used to seeing that in their email address or in their um, email boxes as well. Um, so I just do Jessica Newcomer and then the email subject. You can make this whatever you would like it to be. I put family safety binder from macaroni kid. Um, you don't have to worry about these other things unless you want to blind copy people. Um, if you want a, a reply to email address so they can just reply to it, you can put your email address in there. Um, whatever you want to put, fill out. But I don't use these three four, um, boxes. So just so you know, you don't have to fill them all out. You just need these three. And then in this bottom half, you're filling out the email that will actually come to the people. So I put these funny brackets in, I don't know the actual name for them, and then name and then semicolon. And this comes directly from your Google form. Whatever your question look like, see mine has name and semicolon, so I just copy this and put it in between two of those funny brackets and it will automatically put their name in there when you email it out. So I filled mine out to say Jessica. So when it emails out to me, it will say Jessica, and then you have to put a comma afterwards um, with no space, and then it will say Jessica comma. And then thank you for signing up for our free family safety binder. This is a practical guide. Hopefully you'll never have to utilize it. Um, ready to get started? Download your free, sa family, free family safety binder here. And if you click on this, it is just the download for it. So that will be your Google Drive address that was provided in the share article for the Family Safety Binder. Um, and to make a link, it's kind of just like our um, websites where you just highlight whatever you want to link and then click the link button. And then thank you, Jessica Newcomer Publisher from Macaroni Kid. Macaroni Kid York or York PA <coughs> with a link to my website. Now I know some people get super fancy in here and they put little 
um, things in here that say if you like this you may like these articles as well um, I didn't just because I don't have um, the time for that mate but maybe I will do that in the future but just letting you know that is an option that you could say like for your New Year's Eve printables if you put something in there like hey here's things you can do over winter break and here's an article about how to do New Year's Eve parties at home you know whatever you want to put in there you could also put in there as well at the bottom you are going to um, select your email address and if you have more than one uh, Google account signed in, you'll have different things to toggle from. So make sure this says your Macaroni Kid email address. This one here, I don't think you have to check anything, but I just left mine say insert merge field. And then you click save. So you click save and that's your email and that's really all you have to do except for down at the bottom here. And I always forget this step, you have to hit finish and merge and you want to click it to say merge on form submit. So that means it will email it out as soon as they fill out the form and then click save. And it's really important you do that because it won't save anything that you did until you hit save. Um, usually we're used to like Google Forms to just automatically save stuff, but this is an add-on document studio and you have to physically save your changes. Um, so setting save successfully, we'll go over here and um, go to my real form. Now I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is my personal email address and submit. Now what happens over here, and you can watch it happen, it says Jessica submitted a form and then um, document studio and then it sent it out and you can click here and it will send you or show you a copy, hopefully, of what you sent. Oh, it took me to my all mail. <laughs> um, so you can see it put my name in there before the comma and then it has the download for it too. And if then if I hop over to my Yahoo email, which hopefully nothing inappropriate will pop up here. Mainly this is just all spam email. But yeah, then you can see this is how it came through on my personal email address as well. And then I click on the link and I can download it. So that is how you set up um, your freemium to be automatically emailed out to them. So I hope this helped. I'm also going to do a separate video for people who need to figure out how to download the Document Studio. Um, first, I'm going to search YouTube and make sure there isn't one already for that that you know has been up to date. But if not, I'll make one on my own and I'll post that one separately. I hope this helped. Bye, guys.